Hello YouTube. It's me again. Second video in the row. Thanks to me actually <laughs> using my new having my new iPhone. I'm still filming with the old one because I I don't know how to you know, extract a video from an Apple device. I meddled with this 4S for such a long time that now it basically opens. <laughs> it doesn't launch iTunes, it opens just like a regular you know, hard drive or flash drive or something like that. And I can just take the video copy it. I did free about 10 gigabytes of space on this phone so it I can still use that. I'm still smoking my Ray Mirsham with Fire Dance Flake. It's, I just overheated it, I think. Sorry about that. No, I couldn't pass this topic because, you know, it's all the rage right now. The McClelland tobacco closing their doors after 40 years and you know the small hysteria that was caused by this people you know buying ridiculous amounts of the uh, their tobaccos I haven't jumped on that one because I haven't received my paycheck as of now I will buy something definitely I will buy a tin of Frogmorton because I haven't tried that and myself being a Tolkien fan, uh, I want to try that. <laughs> Even, you know, first and last time. Also one one of my favorite aromatics, you know, the Taste Master is by McLelland as well. And it's what actually got me back into pipe smoking after a long, a long pause I had. But the... I've seen a video just today I think or yesterday by Chad Yarborough in which he said that you know this all this hype that surrounds this McLaren going out of business is pretty ridiculous. No someone will definitely profit from that and well his basic message was this there are far worse things going on in the world right now. Besides, you know, it's not the end of the world. And although I agree with that, there's also I just have I'm having mixed feelings, and I know I'm gonna you know, alienate someone by saying that. But I read through their letter that uh, you know the McNeil couple, you know, Mike and Mary McNeil, uh, posted officially, you know, saying goodbye seeing that they are unable to go on with their um, manufacturing process and saying that uh, in part due to the legislation in the US in part due to the just the production methods changing they are unable to continue And though I have nothing but you know sympathy and respect to their decision, their decision not to sell the business, all the recipes for that matter, to anyone. You 
know, it angered me, actually, because it was a family business and they, uh, they can do whatever they want with their family business, definitely, but, you know, robbing the community of their tobaccos. I'm sure someone will end up making matches like it was with Hobbit Suite. No, I think For Noggins has a Hobbit Suite match. People were making, you know, matches online. There's no way around this. So the fact that they are not doing that, you know, officially, you know, giving their license to someone else and maybe imposing additional, you know, requirements that can be stipulated in the, in the, by means of agreement, you know, you are required to perform a certain procedure, make certain quality checks as per the leaf, as per the finished product, etc. etc. Et that to me sounded. Uh, hate me for saying this, that actually sounded a little bit arrogant to me, you know, it's just our way or the highway, and no one will, will be able to do that. If we are not doing that, no one is doing that. I don't know. Now people will judge McClelland by the matches. You know, someone will make a Frogmorton match, and you know, that's what people will smoke in the end. And Mr. McNeil will have no control over this. Not that he'll, you know, give a damn. <laughs> He's not supposed to give a damn about that, but... What I'm saying is that if I had a choice, I would do my best to, you know, leave a legacy. Not just a name and, you know, fond memories. But at least something maybe even a compromise otherwise you know you know I'm, I'm, I'm oftentimes obsessed with things carrying on and I, I hate when something is goes out and that's it. So maybe this that's my weird, you know complex speaking, but uh, although I have nothing but admiration for them the, this decision it's, it doesn't It not only you know, upsets me, but it disappoints me in a way. I won't, probably won't stock up on the tobaccos. 
that's not my <laughs> I'm not capable of doing that actually <laughs> financially but the idea itself of something going going away forever is just I don't like that I'm afraid Anyways, these are my two cents on this subject. Um, I'll sign off. I'll film another, yet another video. So stay tuned. Happy puffing, people. And I will repeat what Chad said. You know, ignore the hype. Just enjoy what you have. smoke whatever you'd like. And myself, I'll be back real soon with yet another one of my videos. Until then, see you people.